uh, the debate on uh, on Brett and on Brett's channel with uh, Mr. James Lindsay. I remember making yeah. some like very sarcastic remarks towards you before, being like, "Oh, this is going to be a waste of time." But uh, I, I got to say, I underestimated you. I thought you were going to be a lot more naive about what you were walking into. But you, you, you sized them up immediately. You saw them coming. Yeah, those, um, it just those guys. I think have been driven a little bit crazy, or they were in the run up to the election, and they just said a lot of stuff that didn't make any sense to me. So, you know, I took it as an opportunity to maybe get uh, to some of Brett's audience to try to explain why I thought. Not voting for Biden was pretty crazy, but uh, who knows if it worked? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it's a, it's a good, it's good to try. But I really thought you were going to make a, a cardinal mistake where, where you walked in very naive, think, thinking that they were eager to be won over and not understanding the the depths of, especially in my opinion. I just want to make clear, Jesse's not signing off on this, but like James is like clearly in like full scale like paranoid monomania where he he doesn't see anything but wokeness. Or, uh, around him yeah but no i mean any conversation like that you, you you know going in if it's sort of pundits with strong opinions they're not looking to be won over they're mm -hmm. looking to sort of you know try to make a fool of of whoever they're going up against or try to convince the audience but uh yeah it was an interesting chat i just I, the election drove a lot of people crazy yeah yeah i, I i'm not sure i i would identify the their individual pathologies as the election, especially Brett. Brett had a, a moment that like drove me crazy, where he's like, "Well, I'm finally ready to reveal who I voted for, and uh, after long consideration, I uh, decided to vote for uh, Tulsi Gabbard." And it's like, dude, that's not voting. What you just described isn't voting. Right. Tulsi Gabbard. Voting is when you vote for a candidate. Yeah, I just uh, there was so much about that stuff that confused me, and I think both of them have expertise in other areas that <laughs> maybe hasn't translated to politics. Um, but yeah, I got I was sort of spent too much time in the run up to the election being mad online about IDW stuff. So I uh, I hope I don't get sucked back into that. Yeah, very diplomatic, very very diplomatic way of uh, of, <laughs> of putting trying. it. Um, I thought it was a very very entertaining uh, debate, though. Thank you. Yeah, I was I was glad I did it overall. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you, if if you uh, you came in prepared by by reading my uh, my five thousand word uh, medium essay on uh, on Brett's Unity uh, twenty twenty movement. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna send it to I you. So, so I you would not have it. had it in me. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you so so you so you, so you can read it. It's 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 important you're, stuff. <laughs> you're a stronger man than I because I like I almost did a newsletter post on that, but I was just like I I can't. It's just it. It made so little sense to me, but of course it makes very little sense to you because you because see here's the, the thing about me as like a, a professional or not a professional but like uh, you know as a, a noted shit poster and uh, and troll I build a theory of mind about my my subject so when I, I sit down to like study Brett Weinstein to to you know shit post on him I don't just like say oh you're an idiot like I, I get into his mind and I understand. Uh, you know the thought process that results in, in in what he in what he does. So that's why, if you want to understand that stuff, you should really you really you should you should have read my, my you should have come to actually uh, this is true. Uh, several people, journalists who did write articles about uh, did publish articles about that movement actually did reach out to me on Twitter for like uh, like like basics about like like where to get started. And I like to think that oh, I, nice. I helped them and. And, and pointed them in in the right direction, but I have to say, everyone else failed. I'm the only one who actually like cracked the nut of that and actually actually described the pathology at work. Because they're the one nutcracker. Yeah, because they didn't follow the logic guy method. You got you got it the uh, the 36 part logic guy method. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right, um, I won't. Uh, I won't hold you in the hot seat anymore. Uh, consider beef squashed. I'm not saying we'll change our name. Uh, but you know, consider it. You, you came on my podcast. Uh, you talked to me, so we can consider the blocked and reported beef squashed. Yeah, let's consider it like a uh, an unsteady truce, but a truce nonetheless. No, no, it's a steady truce. I'm saying so. A steady truce. I'm sorry, a steady truce. All right, excellent. <laughs>